Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this procurement analysis dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is a ready to use dashboard to analyze the performance of your procurement team. This is the overview page wherein we are showing the total orders and this is the total cost and here we are showing the quantity order. This is average of rating and here we are showing the average of total cost per order. Then we are showing the payment completion percentage here and this is total cost by payment status whether it is pending, overdue or paid. Here we are showing the quantity ordered by the category. We are taking here three categories consumable, furniture and electronics. This is the overdue payment percentage and here we are showing the total order by month so you can see the month on month trend also on the left hand side we have given some slicers to filter the data like you can filter by month you can select any month then you can see whole data is getting filtered or you can select by department also if you select any department then you can see the order for that particular department only and the total cost and everything will appear on the left hand side we have given the navigation pen so you can go to the vendor and item analysis just click here and it will take you to the another page that is vendor and item analysis we are showing here quantity ordered by the item name so we have taken some limited items we can you can see the quantity order if you want to see in a particular month you can select that particular month and you can choose the year also from the top let's say i want to see only for the 2025 or 2024 you can see that result accordingly you can see it by department also just choose any department then you can see everything is getting changed or getting filtered according to the selection of the slicer we are showing here completion percentage by item name so this is the order payment completion percentage and here we are showing the order payment overdue payment percentage by the item name and we are showing here total cost by the vendor name also so you can see the vendor level analysis also then next is the departmental anal analysis or departmental procurement we are showing here and this is the quantity ordered by the department we are showing on this double donut chart and you can see how much quantity is ordered from where and then we are showing the total ordered by department and this is the overdue payment by the department and this is the payment completion by department okay so you can see that information here then the next page is procurement officer performance total order by the procurement officer we have taken here four procurement officers you can change the data as per your requirement paid order by the procurement officer and payment completion percentage by the procurement officer and this is the overdue payment percentage by the procurement officer the next one is the location analysis and here we are showing the total order by the location so we are taking here four locations branch a branch b head office or remote then overdue payment percentage by the location and quantity ordered by the location okay again you can filter the data as you want let's say you want to see the location wise for a particular department you can select that so this was the procurement analysis dashboard. Now I will show you how you can update your data and how you can refresh this dashboard. So let's go to the file and options. Then go to the advanced and just scroll it down. And here we have one option that is so seat tabs. Click on OK. Now we can see the all seat tabs here and we have this data seat tab. Here you just need to enter the order ID, vendor name, item name, category and uh, quantity ordered, unit price, order date, delivery date and then we have here department, procurement officer name, payment status, rating of this overall order and then here we have the location, this is the total cost. Then we have created some calculations also putting some formulas to create the calculated fields in the pivot table that is the month, year and paid order, overdue order and here we have taken the total order. Now once you enter this data here you can delete this data and you can input your data then you just need to go to the data tab and just say refresh all. 
Once you click on the refresh all, automatically whole dashboard will be refreshed according to your data. Now we will show you using this data, we have created the support sheet wherein we are creating lot of pivot tables. On the basis of these pivot tables, we are creating the all pages overview and the other pages and we are creating these charts okay on the basis of these pivot table we have put uh, here this text also like overview so this is for these all pivot tables for the overview page these all then we have put here vendor and item analysis so these all pivot table for the second page these all for the third page then these all for the next page and here for the last page okay then on the basis of these pivot table we have created the charts and this design in this design we just have taken the rectangles and the shapes from the normal excel auto shapes let me unprotect this sheet first this is protected so you can go to the review tab and just say unprotect sheet the sheet will be unprotected without asking any password so we haven't put any password okay so you can see this is the rectangle in the back end and here we have the another rectangle then this is the another rectangle and the text box okay so this is the normal design which we have created and these all are also the rectangles and the text boxes and we have created some specific charts also like we have used some pictures here and some icons here we have created this stylish donut chart here so i will show you how we can create this stylish donut chart also now let me add a new seat so this seat one is appearing here so you can just go to the view and just uncheck the grid lines now you can create this type of design easily just go to the insert and just insert the shape here so let's say i'm taking this shape and just drag that shape here the bigger shape like this pick this yellow handle move to the left hand side then shape outline you can choose this outline make this bit around one point half point and the fill color just take some lighter color let's say this one so like we have taken here then you can insert a big rectangle like this so just go to the insert and take again the same rectangle this one and drag that here And then you can just fill some darker color. So let's say I'm filling this color here and take the same outline. Okay, so that is how we have created this little more bigger. Then you can go to the shape effect shadow and let's take this shadow which is offset center. So you can see some shadow effect here. To create the card, you can create the same rectangles. You can make this duplicate, press Ctrl D and make this smaller let's place this here you can fill here the white color and take the shape outline this one and the outline bit just take the half point okay so that is how we have created this and to connect with this a uh, text box just go to the insert insert text box and just drag that text box here click on the outline of this text box go to the formula bar press equal to come to the support sheet so we have created the pivot tables here just click on the header of this so this is showing the total orders align this center center and take this this font color make this bold and go to the shape format shape outline as no outline shape fill as no fill just press ctrl d to make this duplicate and let's place this here go to the formula bar press equal to and this time we will connect with the this value of the orders just make this bigger same font color okay so that is how we have created this type of cards you can change the font color if you want to make it darker like this okay now if you connect with the slicer let's say i'm selecting hr here then you can see that is getting changed right automatically so you can create this type of cards and if you want to create let's say some other chart like we have created here this toner chart let's go to the support sheet so what we have done we have taken here this part payment completion percentage 
like this is what we are showing here and then we have created a calculated field that is transparent area which is nothing but 100% minus this value okay so we will create a donut chart on the basis of these two just insert a donut chart here and let's cut this chart press ctrl x and come to this sheet and paste that chart here now let's go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just hide all okay now for the transparent area like we have made here light color and here we will make the dark color so let's click here first and make sure shape outline should be no outline first then for this color the payment completion let's take this dark color and here take the some lighter color like this okay then we can remove this legend we don't need this and you can make this chart slightly smaller which should be adjusted inside that box now let's go to the format take the shape outline as no outline and shape fill as no fill for the chart now let's click on the this dark color slice and then just go to the format fill and line and border and take this solid line here and take the same color so we have taken here this color and increase the width of the border around 5 6 point or 7 point then you can change the dash type as let's say you can take this round dot and from here you can change the cap type or join type also like this so we have taken the cap type as round so that is how we have created this type of chart if you want to change the donut hole size you can just go to the format data series and the whole size just make this bigger like 85 or 80 percent okay so that is how we have created now here to show that text box again you can make the copy of any text box or you can insert the new text box like this click outline click on the outline of this text box go to the formula bar press equal to and in the support sheet let's click on this and just hit the enter align this center middle bigger and take this color all right and change the chart title also so that is how we have created this now if you want to learn more about this dashboard how we have created the other charts and how you can create the pivot table calculated fields and how you can create the stylish charts also you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box in this course we have explained how you can create the stylish pivot table how you can create the customized slicers as well as how you can create the stylish and advanced level of charts and how you can create excel dashboard also all right so you can join that course we have given the link in the video description box all right friends so that is how we have created this dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching